Hello guys and welcome back to chapter 2. Um, I hope chapter 1 was clear. You Just remember you can send me any email or ask me any questions if something was unclear. So we will start picking up a little bit of pace in this video but it will still be not as fast. Um, in this video we're going to cover seven sections out of chapter 2 which is input variables, input and type, operations and operators, assignment and initialization, composite assignment operators and names. So let's start with the first part which is uh, basically what is an input. If you remember from uh, our previous video the hello world program it just wrote that message hello world on the screen it produced an output but it does not read anything which means that it does not take anything in, um, from the user to be able to make the program to read something we need somewhere to read into which means a memory place to save the input by the user by the user being it a character a number or a string of characters this place in C++ is called an object so um, we need to start to get into the terms of C++, which is objects, types, variables, C out, C in. But as you watch more of these videos and read the summary and practice more of the codes, you will be more familiar with such names. It will be natural for you to say them. So what is an object? An object is a region of memory with a type that specifies what kind of information that can be placed in and when I say type of information that can be specified in I, I mean age which could be an integer integer sorry name which could be a character or a set of strings that will be more um, clearer in the when we start writing the code um, so this box right here gives you uh, an imagination of what things should look like oh excuse me of how things should look like so int will be the type, age will be the name, and 42 will be the value. So let's go to Xcode and uh, see uh, what I mean. We have our same program. Uh, it's green right here because we, I got the character on, so we will need this as we forward on to the next slides, but let's start with the first part. So again, we got include input output stream. Uh, in other compilers, it will be include the STD library and so on and forth. Um, I explained in the previous video why do we have to use using namespace but not why. So we're going to explain the whys later but so that I don't want to distract you guys with uh, such things right now in the basics. So let's start off. We got character output which will display on the screen. Please enter your first name and it's between these two um, quote marks and slash n would say go to the next line so the user will get a, a, a message like that one over here please enter your first name and then the first thing the user enters will be saved in a string and this string is going to be saved somewhere in a memory which is character input right here and then character output would say hello and then the first name that was entered by the user which is right here so let's start this. Let's stop the previous one. Sorry about that. And let's go ahead. Okay, so that's build succeed. And we got please enter your first name. So we can simply type, okay, my first name is Major. And go ahead and press enter. Oh, because I ran it several times. So let's try one more time. And there we go. Hello, Major! Exclamation mark because it's added over here. So, very simple diagram, sorry, very simple code. It takes the input from the user and then it displays it. That's a straight to the point. So now you can take from into the user and not just display hello world, but actually display something that the user enters. So uh, if you want to try it one more time, and if we just simply put world, it'll be hello world, but actually the user has initiated this um, input. So that was a slide. 2.1 input and let's go to the next one uh, which is variables and you can um, describe few variables in C++ which are int which are shortcuts we got int for int for integers we got double for like 3.5 few decimal places 
and then you got the character by car or char in some accents string name and I want you to notice the difference here is that if you want to put a string in your code you have to have the exclamation mark uh, sorry the quote and if it's a character then it's just a single quotation but if it's a number there is no quotation so you have to be very careful of these simple things as C++ is very sensitive to syntax um, for bool it can be either true or false bool will make more sense uh, in other slides but right now we're considered we are excuse me more concerned about the int and double and the string name so basically we can't do nothing of interest unless we actually know these and the places that I said that we store the data in are called objects and to access these objects we need to give it a name which is the second part here so int would be the type but number of steps would be the name and this and this name here could be up to you but the int is fixed so if you know you're gonna give a number then it's gonna be an int but this is just for you to explain and when we reach to 2.7 you will understand more about names and what names you're allowed to use and what names you're not allowed to use so let's go ahead and jump into our Xcode let's see what I meant so I'm gonna quickly comment this and when I comment this it's not no longer included it's ignored and let's uncomment this so what we got here we can see the different colors string name so that will be Anna Marie and then we got int number of steps 39 and if I go ahead and I start that we got unused variable number of steps so this is a C++ thing okay let me think quick oh because we didn't um, print out the characters so if we go ahead and do like quickly C out name C out let's try that and there you go Oh, but as you can see here, they're they're uh, close to each other because we did not put the we did not put the go to the next line. And in case you don't have the quotation marks to put the slash n, you can simply put n l, which basically means go to the next line. So if you do just n l n l end line, and we go ahead and hit play, you can see now. So no matter how many times you practice this, you you still need to do it over and run the code and see what's wrong with that so as you can see here the string name Anna Marie is printed out and int 39 is printed out and we're gonna see uh, up in the next code what happens if we if we switch it which is actually right here you know I'll, I'll, I'll quickly um, show you this too so if we're gonna comment this and then uncomment this um, let's steal this from the previous code and that and yeah we already um, the thing about Xcode is we already got the errors here while in other compilers older compilers you actually have to run to see the error but it's clear why it's gonna be build failed you got string and you have a number so you can't put a string into a number and then you have int but you got a character so how can we fix this if you're gonna put a string name then first of all you need your quotations and then you need a name so let's say major Adam and then for the nth number of steps if we're gonna quickly take this down I'm sorry if the keyboard is clicking but I'm using the built-in microphone um, let's say 39 let's go ahead and hit play and that's it it succeed and it works so it's very very important to be careful with the variables that you want to use okay let's make sure this is recording <laughs> 